god. Hey everyone, I'm going to be showing you the bare bone basics of how to import an OBJ sequence into Element 3D using Maya. We jump into Maya and we have our model. Let's start off first by clicking the running man with the gear. Let's go into our settings and let's go under time, working units time. Make sure we have the right frame rate. I'm going to be using 30 frames a second. You use whatever you need to. Save it. And uh, yeah, let's give ourselves some room. Drag that out. Now we have a good 500 frames, but I'm only going to be using, uh, you know, 90 frames. No, let's move his torso. Set keyframe. Go to frame, whatever. You know, bam. So now we have some movement. Now we have a reason to export an OBJ sequence. However, Maya does not support native OBJ sequence exporting. So what you have to do is you have to come over here to creativecrash.com. I'll put the link in the description. Get this OBJ sequence import and export made by the good old Charlie Wales for free. Get that. Then come back into Maya. You're going to want to go to Windows. Set Windows, General Editor, Script Editor. Ignore this for now. So let's go here. Get this script that we downloaded. Now you want to go to you want to scroll down, look for main procedure, and then this is the one you want to copy. Make sure you copy nothing else. Make sure you get that semicolon. Come down here into the Mel little area you can type in. Make sure it's uh, you're on Mel. You know you can click it, paste it, click enter, and then you should have this screen pop up. Now since I only went to frame what 75, I'm gonna end it at 75 to start off with and then you're going to want to select the mesh and nothing but the mesh so I'm gonna bring it over here you only want this I've encountered many problems with other models where it's where you're selecting something other than the mesh or sometimes they don't even provide the mesh so you can't even export that well you can you can try but if if the um if the the model is too complicated it'll really bog down your system and crash everything which happens to me many times so make sure you have something like this a poly mesh surface select it go over here to export obj sequence name it something like oh whatever obj seek you know okay put it where you want i'll put it here to the desktop and now we are exporting. Okay, and we're back in After Effects. So we got a new composition. Let's make a new. No, we don't have a new composition. We're making a new composition. We're making a new layer. Ah, oh, no. Making a new layer. Solid. Bam. Effect. Video Copilot. Element. Do 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 do. And let's uh. Scene setup. Now, very important, you want to go to File Import 3D Sequence because if you click this, you won't be importing a sequence. 3D Sequence, find it, click it. Now, click on the first one. Good, good. And let's scale him up. He's pretty small. There we go. We have him. We can start cycling through the frames. And there is the movement. That's what we wanted. It's mission accomplished, everybody. Click OK. Where are you? There you are. There he is, everybody. There is our little ogre. OK. Now we have our ogre in. Let's, uh, let's bring in a video file. Okay, I have a video file for you guys here. So let's just uh, hide this guy for now. Bring in the video file. And I only want to track this little area right here. I'm going to bring that in. Yeah, that's good. Don't want to do too much and hold you guys, make you guys wait. Anyways, click the video. 
animate track camera and it will start analyzing okay my quick tip about tracking or recording something to be tracked do not record trees do not think trees will be easy to track because they are always constantly moving trees have leaves and branches that move in the wind they will screw up your tracking even though they seem like a stationary object they are not cars are good to track well I mean stationary cars are good to track buildings are good to track trees are not good to track let me tell you that okay we are back the scene is tracked here we have all our points it is following perfectly so let's bring in our ogre once again make sure he's on top so you can see him and look at that he's doing nothing what's going on okay first thing you gotta do let's hide him once again so he doesn't bog down our system uh... where do our tracking points go Oh, you gotta click this button again it's in the effects panel so let's choose a point uh... this one seems good right click create solid and camera now we have a a solid square and it's in our way but it's tracked look at that let's just shrink him a bit okay so i'm looking at it and it looks good looks good it is there so now we have a 3d camera look at that now if we bring back our ogre he's tracked look at him he's moving he's there he is there he's moving with the scene let me just yeah he's there but he's in the air I guess he's a flying ogre that's pretty scary uh, let's move him somewhere so if we go back to our scene setup if you look here he's in group one folder okay just remember that now let's go back to uh, let's rename this so it doesn't confuse anybody So yeah, we're back in the Element 3D 3D tab under Effects Element. Go to Group One. Let's create a Group Null. It's much easier to manipulate a model using this. Now, you know, we want to position them somewhere. Click Tap P. Let's move them X Y Z. Let's move them down. You know Y. And now he's on the ground. Let's make him bigger. Scale it. Whoa, too big. Boom up. Check that out. That is a big ogre. Bowing down to me, of course. And now it's not perfectly tracked. You see him bouncing around a little bit? Yeah, that's, that's okay, though. This is just a little show you how to do something tutorial. Um, yeah. That's the extreme basics. Now you have a model and it's in your scene, it's tracked, it's there. Let's hide this. It's a scary ogre, everybody. Look at that. <sighs> okay, that's pretty much it. I hope you learned. I hope you can apply this to your projects. I made this for my good friend Allison. She wanted to know how to do this. And this is how you do it. Nobody else had a tutorial, so here it is. Really basic. Okay, Robin Lim out.